What's going on guys? It's your boy Coach Solomon. I'd like to thank you and welcome you to my blog. Thank you for coming here and checking me out. And the reason why, for starters, I'm going to let you know the reason why I'm shooting this video on a camera phone because I want to uh, provide encouragement to people out there. No matter what your financial situation may be, uh, you can find success online. It doesn't matter what your situation is. If you've got a camera phone, a uh, headphone with a mic on it, you can start now. You don't have to wait till you get this expensive camera. You don't have to wait till you get this expensive uh, microphone. You don't have to wait till you get an expensive um, uh, laptop. You can go to the library. Go to the library, get started on some of the things I'm gonna show you today. Get your camera phone, get your, uh, your uh, headphone mic, and you can get started today. That's the reason why I'm shooting this right now, for encouragement for everybody, no matter what your financial situation is. Now, one of the things that I'm finding, out of all the people that are subscribing to my channel, I'm noticing that when I speak to them, find out who they are, what they do, and what they're trying to do online, find out what their weaknesses are, and you gotta, you gotta uh, find out what the problems are first. I'm noticing a common trend. All of them mainly have a similar problem, and that is they don't have a network. So in other words, they're online trying to market a product, an opportunity, or a service, and they don't even have a proper network. Interestingly, when you jump online with the intention to uh, promote or sell anything, in that moment, you are trying to perform the job of a network marketer. Now, the reason why network marketers meet with such success is because they have or establish a network first in order to market their products. If you don't have a network, you're not going pretty far online, which is why I made this blog post to show you or to give you a blueprint how to set up the very same network that I use, that I'm using right now, that has lured you here to the center of my spider web to hear this video and get all this valuable content that you can use for free to set up your own network. Now, I'm going to give you an example. I'm doing laundry right now, shooting this quick video. I'm not going to go word for word. I'm just going to give you a, a quick uh, brush over the, of the information. But as soon as I finish shooting this video, I'm going to upload it to, the, to YouTube from my phone. Now, that video will automatically go to Facebook. It'll automatically go to Pinterest. It'll go to Tumblr. It'll go to Instagram. It'll go to all my social media websites because I have a network. Say, for instance, Napoleon. Napoleon had an uh, extensive network of spies, which helped him remain in power. So in other words, when he wanted to find out what was going on in the street, his network of spies who were scattered all over the place would bring that information back to him and vice versa. When he wanted to put the word out on the street, he would send it through his network of spies, his channel, his funnel to get his message out there. And that's what I'm gonna help you build today. And it's the same thing as, that I'm using and it's gonna work for you too. Now this is called Spiderweb Blueprint 1.0, step-by-step -step guide to build your network. This is gonna be something brief, just to welcome you to my channel. You know, I just don't wanna give you a bunch of information just to tell you to go ahead. Uh, just let you know my contact information is, is on this blog. If you wanna contact me with any questions, uh, text me first, text me uh, Coach Solomon. I'll know that it's, uh, it's one of my subscribers and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible to let you know. Uh, but let's go down, Coach Solomon Spiderweb, just give you some quick overview of what's going on over here. Coach Solomon Jones spider, spider web technique. It gives the illustration of the network of thread that the spider uses in order to catch his, uh, his traffic. Now imagine if the spider web only made, had one, one strand there, one, two, three strands, and the rest of this was empty. He's gonna catch anything with that? No, and that's what you're doing. You're only using this. When you got a whole network out there that you can use, to catch people and bring them back to your centerpiece, to your website, sitting right here, right? To the sweet spot. Now we're gonna scroll down, got a little definition right here of network and arrangement of intersecting horizontal and vertical lines. You gotta establish your network, you gotta build one by millions of the social media platforms that you're using. Let's go a little bit further down. Like I said, this is just gonna be cliff notes that guide you through uh, the blog post. First, before you get anything started, you have the business mode your platforms. I use Facebook. I use a Facebook page, I use Instagram, I use Pinterest, I use Tumblr, I use LinkedIn. See, this is my network of social media platforms. I use YouTube, I use this blog, but these are the, the social media platforms is where I send my information to all my followers. See, I got that network of information, that funnel, that passageway to get that message out there about what I'm marketing, you know, what I'm promoting about my business so I can brand myself. You're trying to get you build an online presence and it's gonna help you do so. But first, you have the business mode your Facebook. You have the business mode your Snapchat. You got a business mode your Pinterest. You got a business mode your Twitter. What did I mean by that? It's a term that I came up with 
meaning that this is the state in which your platforms need to be in in order to network. You used to, you're used to being social on these networks, on these platforms, but you're not there to, to be social. You're there to start, you have, you have a business. This is a serious business. So that's what people want to see is that you have a serious business uh, because um, there's a lot of psychological advantages to that, but you, you don't want to buy milk and eggs out of some guy in the parking lot out of his car. You want to go to a store, a storefront. This is a legitimate business, and that's what you're doing by business molding your uh, social media platforms. You check this out. I got the YouTube. Now, you notice I have the same banner on YouTube that I have on Facebook, that I have on Tumblr, as well as the rest of my social media platforms. Let people know this is a serious business. It's not a game. You're not buying milk and eggs out of somebody's car in the parking lot. This is a legitimate business that has a storefront. We're going to be here every day. Uh, 24-7, 365, so that you know you can get what you need. So that's just a little bit. And when you go to the Twitter video, you got the A Twitter. You're going to click on that link, and it's going to take you to the tutorial, which is going to show you how to get your, get your brand going. It's so very important that you do uh, get it going properly, set it up properly. What I just showed you right now is just one aspect of it, but it's a lot more aspects to branding yourself online and getting that going. Um, and when you watch this A Twitter training, you'll get all the direction that you need in there to business mode on your social media platforms. Now, when you go to the A Twitter training, what it's going to show you how to do is how to set up your network properly. Now, out of all the social media platforms that you're going to use, I'm suggesting that you use or business mode Twitter first. You're going to get started on Twitter. It's the most important one. Uh, one of the most important platforms um, when it comes to building your network. And the reason why, let me take you down to this, this uh, illustration I got right here. Now you see this? Automated by robot. And you got the robot in the background. Sorry about that. Now you got the Twitter. Now, when it comes to the robot, you're going to visit my Twitter page. Visit my Twitter page. I'm going to leave the link in there. And look at my content. All that content, it's may, I have maybe 70 to 80 pieces of content inside of this robot right here in the back. This robot spits all this content every 30 minutes onto Twitter. Okay? But my Twitter is in business mode. It's not social mode. It's in business mode. You have to do that first. Business mode, start off with Twitter. Those are the keys. When you read the blog, it gives a much, you know, detailed uh, description of what you should do. So, like I said, this is just the cliff notes. But you're going to business mode your Twitter. You're going to start off here, Twitter first. And the robot is spits about 50 to 60 different pieces of content to Twitter. It rotate, rotates it every 30 minutes of the day while I'm sleeping in the shower. Every 30 minutes, a piece of my content is on Twitter. Now, the beautiful thing is when it comes to that, Twitter is going to spit the information out to my LinkedIn account. It spits it out. To my, to my Tumblr account. See that down there? It's going to spit it out to my Pinterest account. It's going to spit it out to my Facebook account. Now, I'm just going to tell you again, and everything is written down in the description, so don't get scared if it sounds a little bit sketchy right now, but I'm pretty sure you're getting the gist of what I'm talking about. The B Twitter training right here will tell you how to automate and use the robot on your Twitter account. It will also tell you how to sift through all the dead accounts on Twitter, you have about 1.3 billion um, accounts on Twitter. Interestingly, only 310 million people actually use it out of that 1.3 billion. So that means you can have 50,000 followers on Twitter, but have 30 to 40 percent of those followers be dead accounts, meaning nobody's using them. They were just created and left. So that robot will also show you those followers. That, that, are, that are connected to those dead accounts so you can get rid of them. Then once you get rid of them, you're going to take in or follow more accounts and it's going to help you to sift those accounts so that when you do have three to 5,000 people or followers on Twitter, you'll know th that those are people who are active Twitter users so that when you're spitting your content out, your content out to them, it's not falling on deaf ears. And that, as I said before, let me see, this B Twitter training will show you how to use the robot. Let me go back up. The A Twitter training will show you how to business mode all your social media accounts. Now, you see this YouTube trainer right here. The reason why this is so important is because when a robot spits the content out 
to Twitter every 30 minutes. The YouTube training is going to show you the free tool that you can use that will cause Twitter to spit your information out to all your social media platforms. And since the robot is spitting your content to Twitter, Twitter will spit your information out to LinkedIn, to Pinterest, to Facebook, to Tumblr every 30 minutes as well. See, that's a network. That's a network. But this is just, like I said, this is, guys, this is just a brief description to help you get a gist of what's going on here so that you can realize the power of what's going on. As I said before, when I finish this video, I'm going to upload it to YouTube. YouTube is going to spit it out to all my social media websites automatically. Now, this, that's the type of power that you're dealing with. So, in other words, you're going to have a network. That's the purpose of this blog. Read it through thoroughly. Take your time. Unfortunately, the information on here is only for subscribers. I'm sorry, you got to join up. Uh, because uh, you also have to uh, join a YouTube channel because when it comes to joining a YouTube channel I'm going to be giving more details. You got to realize I'm 10 steps ahead of you guys Like the information that you're seeing right here It may seem advanced to you, but it's not to me. This is like basic elementary stuff network marketing You should have a network before you start the market So this is elementary stuff to me since I'm 10 steps ahead I'm going to look back and by means of those YouTube videos. I'm going to be feeding you information to help you save wasted time when you're establishing your network, okay guys? So like I said, my phone number's on the side. If you need some help, if you got any questions, by all means, text me. Uh, my business is open from 8 to 8 p.m., 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. When you visit um, my YouTube channel, subscribe so you can keep up to date with those YouTube videos. And uh, let's see what else. Subscribe to the channel so that we, you know, we can see, keep in touch and so that I can show you uh, the deeper parts of network marketing as I said before this is just this is just the elementary teachings This is the ABC's and the one two threes once you become a network marketer And that's actually what I'm showing you to do because you have to realize when you learn how to use this system And you business mode your platforms and you build your network That means you're gonna be able to teach other people how to do the same thing. That means you have value and people are gonna look to you for direction which will which will bring you more followers because you'll know what you're talking about. And when they look at, look at your platforms, your LinkedIn, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Pinterest, they'll know that you uh, know what you're doing based on, you know, your setup. That's all the time I got, guys. Like I said, hang in there, subscribe, follow the YouTube channel, follow the directions on this blog, take your time, get through it. It may take a little bit of time for you to get things set up, but I guarantee you, once you set up one spider web, Say, for instance, if you're a rapper and you set up your um, spider web to promote your music, what if your mother sell books? You're going to set up another spider web for her. What if you want to get into art? You can, you can jump into any niche with this. Once you understand how to use this network and build it, you'll be able to build spider webs all over the internet. In other words, what you're learning right now is professional network marketing. So once again, this is your boy, Coach Solomon. <laughs> Getting through this video is tough. It's tough, but you guys are going to be there shooting videos just like this too. That's why it's so important that when you watch the training tutorials, the YouTube, the Twitter, A and B, so on and so forth, you're going to take notes. Why? Because when you get to the YouTube and you start the business mode, your YouTube, you're going to have information, content, you're learning. You got to mark down your experiences like a diary so you can have information to put on your YouTube channel with value that you can help other people out in the community who's trying to do the same thing you're trying to do, right? So once again, this is Coach Solomon Solom signing out. Hope you guys had a good got had a good time. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words. I'm so thirsty. Been talking for so long. I check you guys out later. Peace.